also chimney. Welcome back to Building Together. We have an exciting set to build and review today. What are we looking at today? The big. That's almost as big as you are. <laughs> All right, so we are going to be building this Harry Potter set. We uh, got it at the Lego store a little bit ago. You can check out that video, uh, but it's set number 75980 over one thousand pieces in this set and what are you most excited to build? Bellatrix. Bellatrix the minifig? I thought you were talking about all the different fun things that were in the, the set. The piggy. The stable thingy. The, the stable looks pretty cool, huh? What yeah. else? Creepy guy. The creepy guy? This guy right here? <laughs> okay, Fenrir Greyback. Well, shall we open up the box? And Ginny's bedroom has pink walls. You want to open up the box? Take a look at what's inside? Yep, but okay. I'll let you do it because it's too scary. All right, you ready? You ready? Ready. This is bag 53. I mean, sorry, not pink. We got bag two. Looks like we got some nice sand blue pieces in there. I like that. Sand blue? Yeah. What? Here's bag number one. There's a piggy in there. Bag number one. And bag number five. Okay, so here's bag number six. This is bag number four. Oh, I think we're building Jenny's bedroom because there's pink bricks and there's a brush for the bedroom. That's going to be bag number four, I see. Okay. And this is bag number one. Well, that's the instruction book with the stickers. We got some large plates right here. And bag number seven looks like it has some nice dark red slopes. Flying head bricks. We've got this nice instruction booklet here. That's. Oh, there's only one instruction booklet. One instruction booklet. We've got some stickers here. Ooh, this is going to be like building the piggy in the couch. Building the piggy and the couch, a combination that is to die for. It looks like we've got a pretty long instruction manual, seven bags, and a total of 262 steps in this one. How many pieces? 1047, said the box. Let's see how this goes. Do we build it now?
We just finished building the set and I had a lot of fun. Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah, what was fun about it? Hard stuff. What stuff? Hard stuff. Hard stuff. What was so hard? Lining up the table. Lining up the table. So we uh, learned a lot about building on this set and we really enjoyed building this table, right? What was so good about building that table that's right there? It was hard to line up. It's hard to line up, so the challenge do okay. It has waffles and pancakes. <laughs> waffles, it has eggs, printed tiles. Yeah, and I gave Daddy the extras. Came with some extra ones, I snagged them. Very generous of you, I appreciate that. Also, we have to turn it. Okay, we're gonna turn it back around here because I believe you liked something else that was over here, right? The piggy and the, the piggy sty. The pig pen and the piggy? Yeah, and the thisy. Also, this is the owl's bedroom. We get a flying headwig. And a poaching oopsie daisy. He'll just be napping there. So lots of owls, a bunch of mini figs. Bedrooms? Did you like uh, Ginny's? Yeah. We had fun building a lot of things about this. Were there any particular pieces other than the waffles that you really liked? Flying Hedwig. Flying Hedwig. Skeleton legs. Skeleton legs. We used the skeleton legs on this little balcony right here. Did you like some of the play features in this one? So you have the... The opening fire. The opening fire, yeah. So... Here. You got that play feature right there, that's for sure. It'll be ninja thingy, so they have to jump through fire before it closes on them. Oopsie daisy. And there's even, if we take a look in here, we can open up Oh, okay, I'll that. do it. And you're gonna, you're gonna show everybody? Okay. Look at the fireplace there. Also remember the green fire where they apparated, and then regular fire, and when the fire's not on, that's it. Bing! Yeah, that was pretty fun. You also liked these red roof pieces, didn't you? Yeah. Did you have any? I think we may have had like a couple. Yeah. So we have a lot of Hedwigs, just no flying Hedwigs. Yeah, that flying Hedwig is pretty cool. You have one, don't you? I believe I do, from Diagon Alley. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe Ron and Ginny can go there and Harry. Now, who do you like more? Ron, Harry, or Hermione? Ron. Ron's your favorite? Yeah. Wow, I think you're probably in the minority of Harry Potter fans with that one. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. We all know Hermione's the best. Okay. No! <laughs> Ron is! He's a lot like me! Afraid of spiders! Oh, well, that is true. You are afraid of spiders. Especially huge, creepy spiders. When was the last time you saw a huge, creepy spider? The movie? Okay, well, the, you, you know, <laughs> not like they're in your room every single night that you know of. Dad. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... We had a lot of fun with this. I will say some of the things that I really enjoyed with this set. Uh, I love buildings, and so building something like this came with a lot of useful pieces, accessories, bricks. Broken glass. Glass pieces, windows, slopes for roofs. A lot of great, great pieces. I enjoyed building it's it for that reason. Mine. But it does belong to you. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Mm. Okay. There's only two brooms. Two brooms? Yeah. Well, we know Hermione doesn't like the floss. So maybe that's for Ron and Harry and Ginny's just going to have to make two. Or do we kick no. Harry off of a broom? This is for sweeping. The one in the balcony is for sweeping. And this one is for um, Ginny to fly on. Well, then maybe Ron can use this hairbrush to fly on. 
<laughs> it's too small. <laughs> All right, here we are giving our rating, and I am going to give it 8 out of 10 bricks. I had a lot of fun. Of course, building it with Autumn was fun. The pieces are really good. The minifigs. Uh, there are fun, some fun building techniques, like how they put together the hinge work on the bottom level, the slope of the uh, top half of the building I thought was really well done. The top of the building? What's that? This, uh, this angle right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that on top of the printed waffles and egg pieces, mm -hmm. 8 out of 10 bricks. Oh, so he's creepy. Fenrir Greyback is creepy? Yeah. You know, if he bites you, you turn into a werewolf. Okay, bring me. Oh, I'm not a werewolf. Well, you will be tomorrow. So how many bricks did you give the set? Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good to know our public education system is teaching you how to count. <laughs> Dad. Okay, so why did you give it nine bricks? Um, because it has a lot of pieces that I really like, but it's a little hard for somebody like me to build. Um, and when something kind of breaks off, I do know how to build it because... Um, I built it so I know how to put it back together, but also with the table, it fell off when I was playing with it, and it was so hard to get it lined up. I had to, like, take the chairs out and everything. Like yeah. Nine bricks. And nine bricks. I will add one other thing, and that is if you're trying to build it as a family, uh, there's only one instruction manual. And so I thought that was a little bit difficult just because, you know, you could have a couple of people building at the same time, and having two instruction manuals would help. In fact, there are some places where I think they could have actually split it up into two. The top half of the building itself uh, is kind of separate, so you could have had a second instruction manual for that part. And it would have allowed more people to build together, and I think that's always a fun thing to do together as a family. Yeah, our channel was named Building Together. For that very reason. So I think we have one last thing to say. Always remember, keep, keep building, building together. together. Oh, no.